So I came across this issue uh, the other day when I was trying to switch from Visual Studio to VS Code, and I was having trouble getting uh, the Omni Sharper to work, and it wasn't recognizing uh, a lot of namespaces like Cinema Machine, for example, or Unity Engine.UI. And I was getting, uh, you know, a bunch of errors as a result. And I was looking through it, and they all basically pointed to the same problem that it was looking for a bunch of CS projects that uh, just didn't exist. And I was really confused by this because. Visual Studio was able to get its IntelliSense working just fine, and I wasn't able to find. I, I would personally, I'm not even able to find a CS projects anywhere else. So what I decided to do is go ahead and just manually generate them through Visual Studio. So essentially, the way that you have to solve this problem of the Omni Sharper looking for CS projects that don't exist is you have to generate them. So the way that I have solved this is I just go and set my default editor to 2017 and I make sure to check generate all CS projects. I'll just open up any script, doesn't really matter. And then for this first little bit here, it's going to uh, go ahead and build all those CS projects for us. Okay, awesome. And now you can see in our Solution Explorer over here, you can see all of these uh, CS projects that generated for us. And now I actually have a lot of uh, packages in this project. <laughs> I'm probably gonna get even more in here later on, uh, but that's why you're seeing so many of them. So you have things for like ProBuilder, PolyBrush, Cinemachine is in here somewhere, you know, SRP stuff, Timeline. So then, Visual Studio has officially done its job. Uh, you can close the bigger brother because he stepped in to solve the younger brother's problems. And you can switch back to Visual Studio Code. Actually, I'm gonna make sure I just close this. Okay, now that we switch back to VS Code, I'll go ahead and open another script and if we give this just a moment to start running through things, so that's our git output. Let's go to OmniSharp, there we go. So OmniSharp should uh, successfully be able to recognize all these wonderful CS projects that have been built. You can see them all here. And then this should bring our IntelliSense back. It does take a moment to actually uh, go through and uh, get all those wrapped together. But if I type Cinemachine, I might have to wait a little bit longer here. And there we are. So now we have access to everything in Cinema Machine. And another namespace that wasn't working was uh, UI. So now we can access an image, for example. And everything is now all solved. I'd love to hear in the comments if there's an easier way to generate these csproj files. Uh, but that was the problem for me. So if you're getting similar errors, then that should fix it for you. You just need to uh, boot up the older brother to step in to solve the younger brother's problems.